Ready for another installment of Myth Busting AMAs? Let's talk ketamine. Often when I have a consultation for someone who's looking to use ketamine to treat their PTSD or their anxiety or their chronic depression, the first question they ask is how safe is it? And how easily is it to overdose? Is it possible to overdose? And what are the safety things that I have to consider when I'm gonna use ketamine? Because there have been stories in the media of people who have been abusing ketamine who have died. So let's talk about that scenario to understand exactly what's happening here. So the majority of drugs that are used for sedation or anesthesia, which is what ketamine falls under, it falls under an anesthesia medication by classification, most of those medications work to, of course, turn off your brain, put you to sleep, to allow surgery to happen without your awareness, for your safety, of course, so you don't feel the surgery. And all of those cause what we say in the medical world is respiratory depression, or they make you stop breathing because they turn off your brain and your muscles. So respiratory depression is a problem in anesthesia. That's why you often get a tube put down your throat to help you breathe, to keep you oxygenated, to keep your brain and your blood flowing. That's important for safety. So those are how anesthesia drugs as a side effect work in general. Ketamine is a little different though. So ketamine as an anesthetic is a pure anesthetic where it removes pain sensation. It, it blunts the, the signals from your body to your brain to keep you from feeling what's happening physically to you. But it has something very unique in that it doesn't cause respiratory depression. In fact, it can't. It's one of the reasons why it's kind of a preferred anesthetic, especially in the pediatric world, for that very reason. Because you can get away with using that and uh, maybe some other uh, sedatives that the, puts the child out without actually risking their breathing issues uh, or having respiratory depression or not breathing at all or stopping breathing. So it is unique that way, and it is important to understand that. But it does make your muscles not uh, much less feel 